this week on Painted Plastic. Hey everybody, uh, real quick I wanted to show you how I modified the skis, right? Um, this is a ski off of the Ice Snake from 93, I believe. Um, but the axle for the Desert Fox was already broken, so uh, all I did was just clip off the post uh, where the wheel would snap on, and then we're going to attach that uh, to the inside of this, right, just like that. Uh, but there's a little modification to this part, um, so it's going to go in like this, right, kind of in this orientation. So we need to snip off the bottom. There we go. And since it's going to sit like up against this side of the front, I'm going to snip off this. All right. Uh, so now that sits right inside there, right? Um, the other modification I made was to just the top of this. Uh, we don't need that tab. Right, so we can just snip that right off. And I just tried to kind of clean it up a little bit and make it as as straight as I could. Uh, it's a little bit it's a little bit fiddly inside here, but <clears throat> it's not that big a deal. Uh, oh, that reminds me. The other thing uh, on the part on the original vehicle, this would have been the inside. This would have been the outside. So they've got the part labeled. I don't know if you can see that B, but with a razor blade, you can literally just cut that letter right away um, be real careful with your blades okay everybody see there basically just cut it right off right and then I'll hit it with a little sandpaper of course when uh, whenever the putty's cured and you know all that good stuff yeah, you can, you can cut that letter right away, right? So now that's, I mean, it's, you can still kind of feel it, but like I said, after we sand it, it'll, uh, it'll disappear. All right, so how do we attach these? Well, um, we're going to use <clears throat> a product I really like. Uh, I think I showed you guys this stuff in the, uh, when did we use in the RX-78 maybe when we did the Gundam? I think I used some Milliput there, but it's really, really nice stuff. Um, that's what the yellow is, right? When it hardens, I mean, it's, it's rock hard, right? That's attached. Um, what we're going to do is just cut off a little sliver, something like that. And you cut off about the same amount, right? But check this stuff out. If you do any kind of modifications, it's it's a lot of fun. Alright, so we got our two parts. All we're going to do is just knead them together. Make it till it's uh, just uniform in color. The box says uniform in color plus one minute. So... <laughs> That's probably about good enough. Pretty uniform in color, right? Um, all we're going to do... Actually, I'm going to wipe my fingers. When you're kneading it, it does stick all to you. Uh, just wipe my fingers off so I don't get any on the part. It sands really easily when you're done. You can just sand off any unwanted, but, you know, if we can not get it on there in the first place, that's even better. So first thing I'm going to do is just take off a little teeny piece. And if you'll notice, when this thing sits in here, um, there's a little bit of a gap on that side, on the, the back side. So I want to fill that first. And I'm just going to roll this down just so it's big enough to fit in that gap. Right? And then press that right into that gap. do it 
one more time just to make sure that's good and filled. Like I said, anything that we don't want, we can sand off later. But you want to make sure it's good and filled. Alright, now I'm going to take another blob and start forming. If you notice on this part, I went all inside the middle and then up over the top to kind of form that out a little bit. So take this blob and it's going to go right inside the two prongs and then smash that all together. And I think we got a little bit too much. All right. And then I have a it's just one of my paint sticks, but I'm going to use that to really get down in there. Make sure it's all in the little nooks and crannies. Right? Really smash it down good. And then over there I put a little I put a little bevel at the top so it kind of dips in. I'm going to try to mimic that over here. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect because you're never going to see both sides at the same time. And I also have a little cup of water just off camera. Um, you can get your fingers wet and it's almost sculpt like putty. Um, with just, I mean, just the slightest bit of water though. You don't need much. you can wipe away I hope you can see what I'm doing you can wipe away excess that you know maybe wasn't where you necessarily wanted it smooth out any bumps it works just just like clay really I mean right something like that um, now this will take 24 hours to cure um, it will go pretty solid in just a couple of hours but you really want to give it the full 24 to go off completely um, and then like I said you can sand it we're gonna prime it we're gonna paint it we're gonna do everything that we would do ordinarily alright so I'll let this set up and when we come back this will probably be primed and we'll start doing some painting on it but we'll see where we are alright be right back all right, everybody, got these all primed and ready for some base coat. Um, you know, they're, they're not, eh, I mean, they're not perfect, but um, but I'm pretty happy with, I don't know if that's even focusing, I'm pretty happy with how that came out. Uh, you know, all that's going to be tucked in the vehicle. All you're really going to see is this outer side anyway. So, you know, um, I think it's okay. I think it'll be okay. Um, I can still sort of make out the letter. I don't know if you guys can even see that on camera. Um, it's barely there, so I may do a little, I may do a little touch-ups on that, just so, just so those letters aren't visible. Can you even see that? I don't know if you can even see that. But, anyway, other than that, um, I think they're pretty good. I think they're... I think they're gonna work out just fine. Give me just a second. I'll get these base coated. Um, if I do it in the paint booth, I'll I'll record it. But you know, I'm kind of leaning towards maybe a rattle can uh, just to just to get them base coated. So we'll we'll see how it goes. Um, anyway, be right back. We'll do some some detailing on these. All right, everybody, got the base coat on. Uh, decided to go with a white. Um, I think that'll look. I think that'll look all right once we get it done. It's a Tamiya rattle can. It's a insignia white, um, but not done yet because I want this one to look like this one, right? Just picked out a few details. Uh, and now this is just a first coat. 
Uh, they'll both get a second coat, you know, once I get this one painted. So uh, let's get into to doing that. I only use two colors here. Um, I use uh, trusty old rubber black, right? XF85 and good old gunmetal X10, right? It's the only two colors. So let's get into it. Got my takeout palette and I'm just going to get a little rubber black. And I don't need much. I'm just going to use the, the end of my, my paintbrush to dab a little over here. Like I said, we don't need a whole, whole lot. That'll do. And X20A, right? Just a few drops off to the side. All right. Oop. Put the lid back on my paint. All right. Uh, first thing I want to do is get these grooves right down the uh, down the middle there. Sorry. Get these grooves. So easy peasy. Go into some paint. I hope I'm on camera, and I am. First time for everything. All right. Um, I want to avoid the outsides, but I want to get a good coat uh, on the inside because that part's going to be gunmetal. So. Well, camera, barely. And same thing over here. All right. So that's pretty close. Like I said, I'll tidy it up a little bit on the second coat, but that's a good start. Uh, now I want the cylinder right here. That will be black, and this will be black. All right? So uh, I'm going to pause and, and fill all this in, then we'll come back and do the second color. Be right back. All right, everybody, the blacks have had a few minutes to dry. Uh, it's not completely cured, of course, but uh, it's dry enough to get the next color started. So, got gunmetal. Just dab a little right on the palette. Don't need much. That should be good. And X20A again. Little blob off to the side. All right. Um... The first thing I'm going to paint are the little, the little knobs that I picked out, right? Uh, as you can see on this one. And I didn't do all of them, but eh, I'm kind of thinking I may go back and do them. I don't know. We'll see. Might just leave them. And get some paint. I should have my glove on again. I took my glove off, but um, and when I'm painting these, I go in kind of at an angle. Um, I don't want to go. I don't want to go straight in because then the tip will be all over the place. Um, but if I go in at just a slight angle, then I can work right up to that edge, and hopefully. <laughs> not get paint everywhere I don't want paint. About like that. And same thing, open one camera. Same thing here. Hold the brush at an angle and work right up to the edge. Something like that. 
And then I did this little one down here. Ah, and then I throw it on the ground. Uh, and obviously I'll do the same thing on the other side. Um, and then the other thing that gets painted is this entire center section, right? I'm actually going to switch brushes for this, but this will all be gunmetally and shiny and yeah, right? Just like that, but I'm going to switch brushes. Um, so yeah, have them both looking like this. Um, I'm going to leave this episode here. Uh, I'll finish up this and, and, you know, second coat everything. But this is basically how it's going to stay. Uh, after everything's dry, I'll just give it a quick gloss coat. And I will call these done. So, um, as always, thanks for hanging out with me uh, while I do the paintings things. Um, on the next episode, we'll get into, uh, the base coat for the body of the vehicle, the actual camo. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Uh, and see you on the next episode. You'll never win if you give in. But I just can't do it. Can you ride a bike? Well, sure I can. But could you at first? No, I had to practice for weeks. I think I'm getting the hang of it. That's because you hung in there. Now I know. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe!